Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have been here about six weeks now here in the US and the other day, Liam, who is our last born, um, he was telling me, he came up to me and said, mommy, I really miss the beef stew that we have at home in Kenya. And then uh, London, Kirote, she told me that she misses chapati. So <laughs> I guess six weeks of being here um, in the US is about the point where we start missing our foods from back home in Kenya. So I decided that I would make a Kenyan meal tonight for dinner. I'm not gonna make chapati from scratch, but I am gonna make some beef stew and some ugali and some skuma. Um, we'll see how it goes. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I'm not like the biggest cook. Um, George, my husband, is a much better cook than I am. And especially when it comes to the Kenyan cuisine, but I'm excited to try it. Um, I'm also going to have my sister come over. She's gonna help and she's gonna eat with us as well, of course. Um, and then I invited my brother to come and eat when the food is all done. And also my mom, my dad is out of town right now, but I'll probably save some for him or we'll see if there's any leftovers by the time he gets back. But yeah, so we're gonna make some Kenyan food. And yeah, we're pretty ready to go. I'm just gonna wait for my sister to get here. I'm gonna do a few dishes so that everything is cleaned up and ready to go. Okay, so I bought a lot of things that are pretty much prepared. I bought this stew, beef stew meat. So it's already sliced up, love that. <laughs> and we're trying to make things easy around here. Um, some tomatoes, some dania. I almost forgot the name of what it is in English. What is it? Dania is uh, cilantro, yeah. I also bought, I just bought one can of sweet peas. Um, we usually use like frozen peas, but for some reason, I think I prefer these in a stew. They're just softer and sweeter and it just tastes better to me. And then we have some onions, some potatoes, and what else? The ugali flour that I'm using. So I just had to go to the Mexican aisle in the store. And the one that we used to buy when we were here in the States is no longer there. So I'm hoping that this one works. I called George to ask him and he said it should be fine. And then for the greens, I'm just gonna use spinach. Um, that's my favorite type of greens. And my kids eat it. That's the one they eat the best. So we're just gonna do frozen, chopped, already chopped and frozen spinach. Oh, and then I almost forgot that I'm gonna add some baby carrots to the stew. And then as far as the seasonings go, you know what's funny is I was looking in here the other day and I saw this Royco. Let me see if I can get it out. I saw this Royco and Choosy mix and it's probably expired, I'm sure. Let me see if I can find out. Yeah, it's expired sadly, so I'm just gonna throw it away. But, uh, that's been here for quite a while because there was a time that we brought it to my parents from Kenya and I think we cooked with it a few times. I'm definitely gonna cook the way that I usually do in Kenya when I do cook and that's just free handing everything, uh, no recipe. I'm just gonna do what the ancestors tell me to do. I was asking George, I'm like, tell me precise measurements of how to make ugali and he said, you just listen to the ancestors. So. We're just gonna go with that. <laughs> oh, she thinks you're leaving. Milzy! Do you want a popsicle? Yeah. You want it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, you want the purple one? Purple one. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if that's supposed to be addressed, but. No, I think it is. Mills, did you have fun at your birthday party yesterday? Pumpkin. Pumpkin? Yeah, pumpkin. But did you have a party? 
Yeah. Was it fun? Did we sing happy birthday to you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amelia. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So I'm thinking, so we need to like peel some potatoes and I got baby carrots so that we could just avoid chopping carrots. And we'll start with the stew first. And the ugali is like the um, fastest to make. So stew and then the greens are really fast too. So yeah, let's just start with the stew first, I guess. Are you excited to eat beef stew? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the one that wanted the stew in the first place. I'll try to do it justice, okay? just went in so I'm gonna give it a bit and the kids are playing downstairs I think they're doing like arts and crafts I bet it's pretty messy down here let's go find out what you guys doing Starting on the greens, we're just gonna do onions and then the spinach. I don't wanna add tomatoes to them this time. just cooking away should be done in I'd say 15 minutes and the Sukuma Sukuma wiki is done and it's really good so good I love it just with spinach a little onion and we put in a little bit of garlic salt. I'll let Maddie attempt to open it. I think it's gonna probably like splatter everywhere, but it's okay. Oh, good job. All right, this is the part I'm scared for. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
The Ugali is Ugali-ing. How's it looking? It's hissing at me. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Oh, okay, so now it's the moment of truth and I'm gonna flip it. Wish us luck. that came out so pretty okay so i'm really happy with how it turned out it's just cooling off i mean i wouldn't can that the beef stew was so good i know it's so good isn't it so good with chapati mm -hmm. too i know you yeah. love it with chapati sorry i'll have to make that another time Job. Mm. Is the texture okay of you, Polly? Not sticky. I think so. Not too sticky. I don't think so. I think it tastes good. The texture. Yeah. Hi, cutie Cheese. kids. Cheese. Are you eating Cheese. beef stew? Are you eating soup? No. No. Okay. How is the beef still? So good. Did that satisfy you? <laughs> Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Mew Mew. Say bye. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>